Tim Pham, who has been following some developments for us this morning. And Tim, what have you learned so far? Well, Lori, within the last half hour or so, Chattanooga Fire Department came back out here because our crew heard a loud popping noise a little bit after they left the first time. Uh, they just left again, and they get, they said that they gave the scene the all clear, but you can see what the area looks like right now. The windows are smashed in. That's where Chattanooga Fire Department, they had to go in with hoses to put out this fire. It happened around 3.30 this morning, and this is at the old East Brainerd Elementary School. You may remember it was sold about two years ago to a developer that had plans to build it into a shopping center. Uh, right now, it wasn't used for anything. No power was supplied to this building, so firefighters are still working to determine what exactly caused this fire. Uh, but you can see in this video what the scene looked like when firefighters were on scene. They tell us what they saw when they first arrived. So the initial company got on the scene, uh, pulled the hose lines, had to go through one of the windows, and uh, attacked a small fire in that one room. Well, if you look out this way, this mattress, I'm told by Chattanooga Fire Department that it was actually inside that classroom where this fire started, and they believe that someone was possibly living there. But again, they're still working to determine what exactly caused this fire, because when they arrived here, they say no one was inside the building. We'll stay on top of this story for you and bring you the latest developments as we get them. For now, reporting live in Chattanooga, I'm Tim Pham, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. All right.